everybody, this is Braxis. In this video, we're going to be installing the air uh, suction device. The bracket is up here on the wall. It's all ready to go. But before we do that, I want to talk about yesterday's video. And I feel a little bit foolish about something that happened in that. Now, I know if you've been watching my channel for a while, there are lots of reasons why I should personally feel foolish about various things I do here on the channel. But there was something in particular that after the video uh, was done, I was like, oh, you know, that was kind of obvious. And it was, if you guys recall, I was trying to shoot the arrow up over the tree and I was having trouble aiming. And I was wondering, like, what is wrong? with this like I can't look through the site if you're not familiar with archery uh, on the the back end of your uh, bowstring uh, there is oftentimes where you can install a little sight it's like a loop and you look through the loop at some little uh, sight pins in the front and you can kind of line those up and you can actually be quite accurate when you're shooting using that technique now when I was trying to go up I it, like it wouldn't work it's like the, the the stretch was wrong I couldn't get my eye behind it it was really really weird and it was just threw me for a loop well the reason for that uh, is that the distance that uh, you know the distances between your hand and you know your back hand your front hand and your eye are in one orientation when you do this but when you shoot up, that all changes because suddenly the hands are closer to each other and it just messes the whole thing up. Uh, so that was why I was having trouble with it is because, you know, this is not the same as this. And I, honest to God, I, I mean, whoever shoots up or down, unless you're like Hawkeye from the Avengers or something like that. So that was what the deal was with that. You know, you, you can go like a little bit here or there, but, you know, shooting directly straight up, you can't look through the sights unless you, I don't know adjust things or something like that. So if you plan on doing a ton of shooting straight up in the air, account for that. So let's get this uh, air vent on the wall here. Now th this is where it stores, right underneath the beds or, uh, or shelves, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, it is going to uh, click right into the wall here. Now you notice when I built it, I left these little uh, flange little things on the edge. That was intentional so that I'd have something to kind of mount it with. Uh, and what I've got is a little groove on the side here, so you can kind of hook it around. There's no groove on the back side here, but I've got these pins. And these pins are, well, if you've ever uh, bought a washing machine and it's got those pins that, uh, you know, say, like, remove them before you use it. It's like there's four pins in there and it, it's something about, like, keeping the drum from shaking around during shipping. You usually have a couple of these and they've got a little bit of threading on the end. I just uh, took a hacksaw and cut the threading off and I've got these nice little pins that are going to uh, slide in there to retain this. So this just hooks around the edge right there, and this guy goes back. Uh, when I when I first demoed this the first time, like uh, you know trying it out as soon as I finished it, it didn't actually go up against the wall because the bumps where uh, the the form little lumps and things were uh, were kicking it out here, so I wasn't able to get the pins in. So I had to go in with a a chisel and uh, get rid of all the bumps there. But once I did, it fits perfectly. These pins go in. And now it just it stays up on the wall. It won't fall fall down from the wall. It's really secure on there, and it's just this. And uh, some people have mentioned that this might get tiring after a while, and yeah, I'm sure it will get tiring after a while. But the nice thing about this is that it is it's really easy. I mean, it's like pinky finger level easy. And I guess I, I don't even have to uh, pull. I don't have to pull it back. I can just kind of do this and. Uh, the way it draws from the air vent here is this little thing. I'm going to get some tape on here to uh, fix the orientation and get rid of leaks, but leaks aren't that big of a deal. This thing just hooks right in like this. I just throw a little bit of tape. Like uh, once I install it, if we're going to have to use it, I throw a little tape here, throw a little tape there. And now we're drawing air outside. So it works really well. I'm really pleased with that. I hope I never actually have to use it. But that's pretty cool, and the fact that I built this, I'm really excited about trying this thing out for like smelting metal. If um, you've seen some of my videos about uh, Dakota Fire Hole, where you have like a pit in the ground and then a little tunnel to another pit that goes up, and you burn on one side, and the air kind of goes in. Oh, we got a mosquito in here. Uh, the air goes in one hole and then goes up the other. Imagine if you took a pipe from this and ran it down under the ground, and you were blowing air down into that pit in the ground. It'd be like fire blowing out the top. There's definitely going to be a video where that happens. So this thing, I mean, it's for a fallout shelter. It is an emergency thing so we can breathe. But I think we're also going to have a lot of fun with this. And, you know, with River doing his homeschooling, there's a lot of educational components of having a bellows. And I mean, it's mostly just really fun. That's it. Thanks for watching.